Hello. And in this section, we're going to take a look at some of the input and wall control uh, settings. Um, but first of all, let's just open up wall control. And uh, if you haven't seen the previous posts, the wall control basically allows us to add our inputs onto the output displays as windows. Uh, you can reposition and you can resize the displays quite easily and all done in real time. You can stretch any input across an array of output display monitors. Um, so in here we see we've added one uh, video input. So now let's have a look at uh, the popular configuration of wall control. So if you open up configuring, we're currently seeing a wireframe mode. But if we click on capture desktop, then as you can see in this mode, you can actually see the video sources that are currently being displayed on the wall being displayed inside the application. Um, now, you're not going to see everything in real time at full frame rate. Um, but um, to speed things up, um, we're going to switch back to wireframe mode. OK, so now um, let's have a look at some of the uh, uh, input settings. So what we do is right click on the source window and click on Windows properties. And now you'll see a common feature across all of the inputs and depending on what inputs or modules you have, some of the options will be grayed out, some will be active. So here as you can see we've got uh, positioning, uh, we've got the size of the windows, um, we've got the deinterlacing, and uh, many aspects of the input modules that you would want to fine tune and change can be done on a per source per window basis and all of these settings are then stored within the layout so each layout can have different settings uh, as required so again if we want to maintain aspect ratios or we want to free size the windows we can do and then once you've made your um, changes uh, and your adjustments, you can click on apply. Um, so again, up here, we can select whether we want to hide the borders or whether we want to just show the menus on the output display screens. Um, we can also label and caption the source windows so that they're better described. So for instance, we could change the video one uh, to uh, let's say a camera source input so that uh, if this was a video coming in from a camera it would be uh, better defined um, so you can easily see on the wall control application when it's open on whichever layout what source window you're adjusting okay so uh, now let's just uh, uh, have a look at some of the other tabs uh, we can also now choose on the input source we can also change on the um, color brightness and motion settings uh, you can also select on the on-screen display modes uh, you can also um, have uh, captions displayed over the video inside each one of the source windows um, so if you wanted to title them on the output displays you can do so here we're just going to add in a text label, select that, and then once you're done, you can click on OK. So that's about it. Uh, as you can see, it's very easy to change individual settings, and that's the simplicity of one control. Thank you.